recording? Yeah, I pressed it. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Hi, Emily. Hi. I'm Emily and Neil. Today I'm going to show you around my new house uh, so you can get an idea of what it's like before you come here. This is the entrance. When you come it's in, you've got the kitchen yeah. on the right and lounge on the left with Ooh, bathroom smart. and master bedroom. And this as you can see through the doors, there's a large veranda space where mm -hmm. all my plants are. For a Korean house, it's pretty big, especially for me being here by myself. And it's all kind of newly remodeled inside, so that's good. And it's lots of light during the day. So always lots of sunlight coming in, which was good in the winter when it was nice and warm, but I'm a bit worried about what it'll be like in the summer when it gets really hot. So oh yeah, it's a disadvantage. Wait, I guess. And Hot in an air conditioner. Tom settled in well as well. <laughs> That's a high so one. enjoying living here. Like I think he misses point. the birds that you can see on the terrace in the old house. Yeah, but he missed the garden. The birds do come and perch on the railings, which give him something to look at and, and get excited it's a big about. Tower. As you might expect, yeah. the floor here is like underfloor heating. So it's really nice, nice warm Toasty. in winter. If you look in the bathroom, it's much bigger than the bathroom in my old place. Yeah, but it's big, isn't it? With high pressure water. It's not going to slant the wall. Yeah, no more having to crouch. That's what you said. I'm glad about that. <laughs> is it easy to clean? It's clean as well, which is good. So low maintenance for me. As you might expect, the kitchen is quite different to how it would be in England. So no oven. But I have managed to get one of these small ovens, which is good enough for making cakes and lasagna and stuff like that. And luckily, the countertops here is quite spacious compared to most of the house I've been there's lots of dishwasher food. <laughs> he's standing there either, so you might remember I always used to complain about hurting my back when I was doing washing up in the old place I used to live in but now I can just stand here comfortably and do it which is good it's like lots of storage storage space for my <laughs> kitchen I think lots of cupboards and things which is good but I know in, in past houses I've struggled with storing everything which is pretty inconvenient but here everything fits nicely away this is my bedroom I guess it'll be your bedroom when you come here, because it's the only bed. I've cleared the uh, clothes horse away from the lounge where it normally is. I wish I had somewhere to dry clothes outside like in the UK, but this is what we have to make up with here, make do with here. So, that's fine. This wardrobe's like Luckily, good. everything dries pretty quickly, so I don't have to worry about my clothes getting mossy. Maybe they're supposed to be like that. Lots of closet space, so actually I need to buy more clothes to fill it, because I don't have enough clothes. Well, you'd be alright then, Emily. So yeah. in the UK we use these blackout curtains for like children's rooms a lot so you can simulate night for their nap time during the day. But in Korea there's a lot of light pollution. So I found that one of the buildings next to me has an electronic sign which seems to flash quite late into the night. So I needed one of these so I can sleep peacefully at night. So I guess that kind of concludes the tour of my new house. Uh, I'm sure you're going to come here and see oh, yourself sure. at some point in the future. But for the meantime, uh, if you'd like to leave me a few comments about you didn't introduce the piano. Do the virtual <laughs> great. Our viewers can get an idea of what this house is like from a Western's point of view. So I'll see you soon. Okay. Hopefully Bye. in July. Right. Do we need to?